Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the Excel VLOOKUP function with some examples. So let's get started. Hello, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. I help you finally learn financial skills, including Excel. Now, if we listed the top three Excel functions, number one is SUM. We do that a lot. Number two is AVERAGE. Number three is VLOOKUP. Now, VLOOKUP stands for vertical, and that means the data is in columns. For example, let's say we have this little table and we have item numbers and if we have the item number we can search in a vertical lookup we can find 10124 that's in column 1 column 2 has the name granite column 3 has the price 2145 and column 4 has the color which is gray so the way that it works is it can search on the first column and return column two or three or four. Now, it's a little bit clunky, the, the VLOOKUP formula, and so we'll show how this works. Lookup value is the value to be found in the first column. If we want to look at the item number, then we have to specify that's column one. It cannot go column four and then tell you the item number. It can't go right to left. It can only go left to right. The table array, so in this case, the table is those cells and the column index number. We always look in column one and then we return column two, three, four, or so on. So if we wanted to find the item number 10124 that's gray, then we would put this is column one and then returns in column four. So the column index number is column four and the range lookup if it's true, then you find a close match. So if you have uh, dollar amounts and you need a, a range where the closest match works, that's fine. If you need an exact match, then you put false. Now there's two little related functions we're going to do in this one just as incidental. One is going to be a lookup and one is the HLOOKUP, which is exactly the same except it's horizontal instead of vertical. So here is a table. Let's say we have table of dates, we have passenger names, and we have flight numbers. And we want to return departure city, arrival city, base fare, and so on. And here's our data. Our data we have about 80 different flights. And so we have a departure city. So flight 1001 is New York. It arrives in Denver and the base fare is $593. Let's say we also have fare categories 1, 2, and 3 based on ticket prices. And then based on the ticket prices, we have the airport fees. We're going to tack on an airport fee for the total cost. We also have discount categories. So if it's fare category 1, 2, or 3 that's given here, then we also need to look at weekdays and so Sunday is weekday one Monday Tuesday all the way through Saturday and we pull the fare category now once we pull the fare category this is where we need the H lookup because our column um, has switched to rows our data is in rows now so double A X Y and Z is the flight discount and we'll do several things with that so let's get started with our example so the very first thing we can do is we need to, the date is not important for our VLOOKUP, the passenger, but we have flight information. So let's look at our data. Our data is all given as flight numbers. And then we can pull departure city, arrival city, and the base fare. So we're going to set up a VLOOKUP. Now I'm going to use the formula builder because it's easy to kind of show. The lookup value is going to be flight 1022. The table array, let me show you two ways to do this. I'll show you the, the easy way at first, but maybe a better way after that. I'm going to highlight the entire data set, not including the headings. So I'm going to go all the way down, and that is my data. So it's A2 through D82. And I want to pull the second column, the departure city, and we want it to be an exact match, so I'm going to type in false. So it's going to pull New York, and for, for us to be able to copy that down, we need to have the table array to be absolute, and that's going to be an F4 function, F4, and so New York 
and then we can copy that all the way down. So flight 1022 leaves New York, flight 1012 leaves Cleveland. Let's check our data set. 1012 leaves Cleveland, heads to Detroit, and $746. Now another way to do it, that is an absolute range and that works. That's pretty quick. But you say, you might say, hey, I'm going to do this several times, so why don't I name my range? So if you look at the data, let's go to the very top and we'll highlight it across and then highlight it all down. So we've selected all these cells. And right here to the left of the formula bar, I'm going to type in flights. I'm going to name this range flights. So now I have a named range called flights. And anytime I reference flights, it's going to have this named range. Now watch. It does not include my heading. And so I can just use that in a formula, and it makes the formula easier to read. And you can go back and see, and it's also absolute. You can go back and see, you know, what you're trying to do with that. So I'm going to change this original one. I'm going to start over again. Delete this. And let's do VLOOKUP again. So VLOOKUP, we have a lookup value, flight 1022. My table array, I've actually called it flights. Do you see when I hit flights now it's uh, 1001 or 1001 New York to Denver, $593. Column index is still two. The range lookup is going to be false. And so therefore, I've got New York. I don't have to do absolute value. I can just copy it all down. The arrival city, same thing, V lookup. We're going to look up flight 1022 again. The table array is called flights. I'm just typing in flights and it's going to recognize it as a named range. The column index is going to be column three now for our arrival city. And the range lookup is, I want an exact match, so I'm going to say false. All right, we can copy this down. Now the base fare, same thing, it's going to be in column four, right? So column one, two, three, four. So our VLOOKUP, and I'll, I'll just type it in this time. Maybe you want to start and typing it in. So you do VLOOKUP, and once you type in several characters, it recognizes, hey, it suggests VLOOKUP. So we hit TAB, and it finishes VLOOKUP, starts with the parentheses. And we want to look up flight 1022. The table array, I'm going to start typing in flights, and it recognizes it. I just have to hit TAB, comma, column index 4, comma. And here you can say if you forget which one's true, which one's false, you can do false. We want an exact match. Close parentheses and we're done. It's 490. We'll check our work in just a second. So um, flight 1012, Cleveland, Detroit 746. Flight 1012, Cleveland, Detroit 746. We feel like that our VLOOKUP is working correctly. All right, next we're going to do the discount. And on the discount, we need column and row on the discount. So let's look at the data. The discount, we have rows that is weekday 1 through 7. So this is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all the way through Saturday. And we have fare category 1, 2, 3. So this is our column headings. So we're going to get the next two columns here is going to be the weekday. And then the second column is going to be the fair category. So we'll use this table and we'll pull, based on the ticket price, we'll pull the fair category. Now we're doing this so we can use this table to calculate what is our fair category and then our fair category to calculate what our discount is. So let's get started with the weekday. So there is a function called weekday. Weekday and it says the serial number, that's just the date. And then we want, if you hit a comma, then it gives you suggestions. We want it Sunday through Saturday. So close parentheses here. And so weekday four all the way down. So here we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So those are the days of the week. Now our fair category, we not, we're not going to be able to use the VLOOKUP because look at our fare category here. We have ticket prices, 
and then we have the fair category to the left. Remember, VLOOKUP can only go left to right. So unless we change the data, we copied it and put it over here somewhere, then we're going to have to use a different function. And so sometimes you have to use the, the lookup function. So let's show you how to do the plain lookup function. Now on lookup, let's search for lookup and it gives us an option. This makes it a little confusing. There's a two variable function or a three variable function. We're going to use the three variable functions. So we're going to look up the lookup value for the fair category. We're going to look up the base fair based on, and it says lookup vector. This is a range or an array. So vector makes it sound confusing. Let's go and look at here is where our data is. So we're going to look up the $490 ticket price based on these ticket prices, this schedule. We need to make an absolute. And then we can go to the left, go to the left here on the fair category. So at 490, it's going to hit 450 and it's going to look at two. It's going to be before it hits the 600, which would also be two. We need to make this absolute. So now we have fair category and it should be all ones and twos all the way down. So fair category, if it's a low fair, it's fair category one. If it's a high fair, it's fair category three. So now we can do the discount. We're going to use another function that's similar called the index function. And so we need a column and a row. So here's our column and here's our rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So think about what our data is. So these are our three columns and these are our seven rows. So on using the index function, we're going to search for index and I'm going to use the three variable one, not the four variable one. So we'll say we're going to look up on the array. So our array is, and I'm not going to include the labels, my array is just the data. I want row number. I want to point to the four. Column number, I'll point to the two. So we've got rows and columns. Rows are one through seven for the days of the week. Columns are one, two, and three for the, the fair category. So this pulls column Z. So if it's weekday four, which is what, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday would be weekday four. Fair category two, so let's check our data. So weekday four, that's Wednesday. Category two, that's Z. So it pulls row and column, it pulls Z. So Z all the way down. And now we have some that are double A, X, Y, and Z. All right, so now we need to do a discounted fare. Let's look at our data. Now, because our data is in rows, we need to use a horizontal lookup rather than a vertical lookup. Now, you could change this. One way to change this, you could take this data and do copy, and then right click and do paste special, and paste special. If you transpose, then it puts it this would be a vertical lookup. You're looking in the first column and you're finding information, returning information from the second column. Well, that's kind of cheating a little bit. We want to do this with an H lookup. That would be completely acceptable, but you need to kind of understand how H lookup works also. So H lookup here is going to be the same thing. We're going to look up the discount category the table array is going to be just two rows, and we're just going to point to those, not include the headings. We're going to make that an absolute address. The row is going to be two. It's the second row, because we're always looking up the first row. And the range lookup, we want it to be false, because we want an exact match. So it's going to return. Um, here we have dollar amounts. We'll change it to dollar amounts here in just a minute. Let's do percentages. So 
if we look at discount category Z, if it says double A, it should pull a zero. If it says X, it should pull 10%. Y should be 25% and Z is 40%. So if it has Z, it's 40%. All right, so let's copy this all the way down. I think we did it correct. So remember, double A is zero, X is 10%, Y is 25%, and Z is 40%. So that's working correctly. What we're doing is we're gonna say, hey, we're gonna give this customer a 40% because it's discount code Z, they get a 40% discount off the base fare. So we're gonna do this as a dollar amount. So make this a dollar amount. We're gonna take the, that first one is 40%. We're gonna put parentheses, one minus the 40% and end up with the 60%. We can check our work here if we made it a percent here at 60% and then take that number times the 490 and that will calculate the 40% discount. So the answer is in dollars now with zero decimals. So it's $294, and we'll copy that all the way down. So here is now our discounted fare. We need to do one more VLOOKUP, and then we'll do a formula for our total ticket price. So our VLOOKUP here, we're going to search on the discounted fare and figure out, well, what is our airport fee? Let's go back. If our ticket price is given, then we can figure out the airport fee. If it is a Below 300, it's $20. 300 and above, up to 449, it's $30. 35 and so on. So we need to use, we can use a VLOOKUP. Now, we're not looking at fare category one, two, three. We're looking at ticket price. Now, because we don't have, if it's 294, we need to use a the closest match, not an exact number. If we use the exact number, there's not one that says 294 or 473, and so we would use the true rather than the false. So let's do this last view lookup. Here's why you would do the true rather than the false. Okay, one more view lookup. We're gonna look up the discounted fare based on the table array. Those two columns. Now, make sure you do not include the first column because it's not gonna look at fare category one, two, or three. So we need to make this absolute. Column index is going to be two and two here. And the range lookup is going to be, let me show you here. True, we want the approximate match because there's not a 294 in that table. There's only a zero and a 300 and a 450 or whatever that number is. So we'll do true. And so it's going to pull an airport fee of $20. And we should be able to copy it down and now we have all the airport fees that are given here. So let's look at our data. If we have 294, it should pull uh, 20. If we have 350, it should pull 30. If it has 450, it should pull 35, and so on. Now the last thing we need to do here is take the total discounted fare plus the airport fee, and we'll have the total ticket price that somebody pays. $314, and we can copy that all the way down. So here is how you do VLOOKUP, and also we included things like LOOKUP and HLOOKUP, just to, so you make sure you know how to do VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, an important function in Excel. The next video we're gonna do a, a brand new function called XLOOKUP, so stay tuned for that next video. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. If it's helpful for you, thumbs up, leave a comment, and please subscribe consider subscribing.